Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I will be showing you how to get a free virtual credit card. So let's get started. First, you just have to go to any web browser and I'm going to introduce to you this privacy.com. Anyways, what is a virtual card? Digital credit cards that work similarly to real credit cards but without the plastic are called virtual credit cards. Companies can reduce their risk of fraud by assigning unique 16 digit card numbers and expiration dates to every, every transaction instead of giving the same card number to several vendors. The pay can only access the authorized amount of funds with a unique number and then they can use it for some transactions like paying, okay, or if they're into gaming, then you can they can use this virtual card for purchasing some items, okay. So for privacy.com, this is what it looks like. If you have an account already, click login. If you don't have, go for sign up, type email address, password, click this circle right here, and then click get started. Now, the next thing to do to verify your account is to open your email address and then click verify Then you can start using privacy.com. But if you have an account already, and then they will ask for a proof or a permission and that you're the one who's using this privacy.com so you should open your email address okay and then you have to enter the number here in order for you to get access or to proceed and then um, paste it right here the access code and then you can now continue so this is the interface of privacy.com it's so easy to use here you can see home cards transactions help you can complete your profile here if you want. And then you can see here the cards, your card activity, and so on. So you should take note that for daily spend, this amount right here is a speed limit over seven days. For a monthly spend, this amount right here is the limit over a period of 30 days. Do not exceed, okay? For monthly cards, you can create 12 for privacy credit. Then you can tap this one to see more information. Okay, now that you know this activity right here, then the next thing to do here is we're going to create card. So tap card and then you can simply customize it. Now, here are a few ideas to get started. So if you are into purchasing for internet and TV, then you can tap any of these samples right here. So if your transaction is more on internet, TV, phone, then you can select from any of this card right here. So if you read the information right here, switch your subscriptions and bills to a privacy card, protect yourself from hidden fees, unexpected price increases, and double charges. So for phone or transactions like this, you can select from any of this card. For streaming, you can select this Netflix card, Spotify, insurance, again, this card right here. And then for retail, if your transaction is more retail, then you can choose this Etsy, eBay, Digital, you can choose this Google. And then apps, key, okay. gaming. Okay, so for this time, I want to choose a Discord. And let's just see, I'm active on Discord activities and I want to purchase items, everything on this. So this is what it looks like. Okay, so this is your virtual card. And if you want to change this, if you want to change your mind and then try other card right here then you just have to click this uh, three dots and then click this say understand and then select another card if you want so there are some brands right here you can change this to netflix amazon and so on also if you want to change uh, the name of your card then or you can custom first and you can go to custom and change uh, the color and you can add element or object on your card and then tap the save button right here so once you have chosen a brand and custom it's about time to change and the name of your card so if you want to change just tap the card and then you can see your nickname so let's spend the mid funding source pause and close if you want to close your virtual card so if you want to change or add something here add character here all you have to do is to type whatever you want and then click save key okay? So that's it. That's how you give a unique name to your card. You can also increase or set your own spend limit here. For example, per month, this is your spend 
limit, and then for per year, the interest payment limit, per transaction total, and so on. Okay, so feel free to adjust or change something here for the spend limit. Now, once you're done with adjusting the spend limit on your virtual card, then you have to take a note that in order for you to proceed everything here, you have to finish a signing up or you have to complete your profile because you can proceed with the transaction and everything here on your virtual card unless you complete your profile. Okay, so in order to complete your profile, click this one. I'm going to use this for myself or business. Everything is up to you. I should say for myself and then add your legal first name. Name, last name, preferred first name, date the first. You just have to follow all the instructions here. Tap next and then enter the information that they need. Okay, so that's it. Now, once you have completed your profile, and then all you have to do is to start, start doing some transactions here on your privacy.com. Okay, so if you want to know the procedures to how to complete your profile, then here it is. Okay, so this is the procedure, create your account, okay, complete your profile, connect your funding source, I need to continue and so on. Okay, so if you want to see your transactions, if you want to see cards, if you want to add cards, tap cards, transactions, go to help if you encounter some problems right here. If you want to read articles about transaction, getting started, about privacy and so on, or pay plans, you can just go to help. If you want to go to your account, have your friends, I breathe, log out, you can just tap this person icon right here. Now you can see all of the features that you can get or unlock once you upgrade your plan here on privacy.com. So for the meantime, we're using the free version. So these are the features that we can get. But if you want to upgrade, just choose any plan right here and then purchase. And then of course, your features also are upgraded. Okay, so that's it. And now that is the advantage of using this privacy.com or virtual card. And apart from this, you can also try this um, Junie. Okay, Junie.com. This is also a business card or business virtual card. You can create one same with the privacy. Okay, so if you want to know more, you just have to go to their website and then read some articles right here related to Juni. Apart from this one, like privacy, Juni, you can also try iInvest. So all you have to do is to type iInvest right here and then click the very first link that you can see. And there's also a virtual card. You can transact and process some payments right here without a physical card, without any hassle. Okay, so just get started, sign up, and then enter the details that so I really hope that this video helped you. If you have found this video helpful, then please do like and subscribe because it helps me reach more people. See you soon.